Hello, hello, here is copper, silver and steel. Welcome to the third part of my off-grid solar system backup power series on this channel. And in today's video, I would like to talk about this uh, storage, energy storage bank batteries. This is 24 volts system connected into this Mast PV108 Chinese clone called Sinus Pro Ultra 600. So basically what we, we will be doing today. As you can see here, this is four 12 volt batteries connected in serious parallel connection to give me the 24 volts connection. So how to achieve it? There is some you know safety features in here that you need to consider for example the proper fusing and for example this solution is serious connection this is 48 volts this is something different and much easier to accomplish than making a 24 volts from four 12 volt batteries so what we do at the beginning first we connect two batteries in series. So positive into negative, one connection, and the second one, negative, positive, second connection. So here we got 24 volts, and here we got 24 volts. The very crucial, important thing that before going forward, you need to make sure that the voltage on this pair is equal on this pair why because if you have different voltage than 0.1 volts you may cause a current that flows from the battery this is 24 battery this is 24 battery so when the voltage is higher it always goes to the place when the voltage is lower and so you need to make sure that all the batteries are fully loaded and the voltage here and here is the same. So that was the first step. On the second step, we connect positive to positive and negative to negative. So if we measure the voltage here, we get 24 volts connected in series parallel. And also here we get 24 volts connected in series parallel. Those cables here are nothing more than the cables to the charger because we can charge or get the voltage, uh, the current from this side or this side. Those two big cables goes directly into inverter here. So I will also make a video how to make this switch, how to make crimpings, etc. But in this video, I'm showing you the connection. Okay. So, what about the fusing? Before we go forward, I will show you the electric diagram. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so from the electric side, we get the following situation. This is first battery. Okay, let's go here. This is second battery. This is third battery. And this is fourth battery. So as like I said at the beginning, First battery with second battery, we are connecting here. Negative to positive. Okay, of course, you can do it like this, but the idea is the same. So, negative to positive, we get here 24 volts. And the second pair, third and fourth battery, connection negative to positive. Uh, so as you can see, we get closed circuits in here after connecting positive to positive and negative to negative. Uh, you need to make sure not to do this in this way because then you create shortcut battery and everything will explode and damage your battery, of course. But as you can see, we get closed circuits in here. And this is why I use this 125 amps fuse in here in case of when this battery lose some voltage for example if the 
this battery, for example, will be, you know, broken, damaged, and this left side voltage will drop from 24 to 12, and here we got still 24, then the current will flow from the higher potential fire voltage into lower voltage, and it will be very high current, which is very dangerous to this connection because it makes these cables hot and even get into fire. So this fuse, 112, 25 amps, of course, it could be even twice uh, smaller because the current that flows from this battery pack and this battery pack is, you know, combined is added it's a sum and this overall fuse is 125 amps why this kind of fuse uh, there is a video i will give you a link where i'm described how to calculate maximum current according to your inverter power so if you have inverter 300 watts and 24 volts of um, battery system the current you can calculate by dividing power in watts in watts which is 3000 divided by 24 and it gives you a little bit around 125 amps so the higher current is danger it should not be in a properly working system so this is why we use the first fuse in here this first fuse that protects in case of current flowing between battery packs and the second fuse protects us uh, in case uh, if the solar inverter has a shortcut so in here and the current will flow exceed our rate of our fuse and this is how we protect it this cable and this cable are the cable for additional slow charger in my off-grid system here is only the switch for the battery so as you can see now this system is charged by this 100 one, uh, 1000 uh, watts uh, power uh, charger fast charger this is slow charger but this is a topic for another video if you like this channel if you want to know more about uh, gel batteries or agm batteries 24 volt system a 48 volt system 5.5 uh, uh, kilowatts inverter versus 24 uh, volts uh, battery off-grid hybrid hybrid inverter just let me know and i will create a video for you so thanks for watching it was copper silver and steel see you later